Good evening once again. I'm Stephanie Rule. We are down to the wire four days before the election day, and with control of the Senate and the House on the line, there is no room for error. There's also no rest for the president on this final campaign weekend. President Biden will be trying to get out the vote in Illinois and Pennsylvania. He'll have company in the Keystone State from two former presidents. Biden will headline a rally with Barack Obama, while Donald Trump is also campaigning there this weekend. This afternoon, Biden said he thinks things are looking good for Democrats. We're going to win this time around, I think. I feel really good about our chances. I think we're going to keep the Senate, pick up a seat. I think they have a chance of winning the House, keeping the House. So I'm optimistic. I really am. Biden will also be in New York this weekend campaigning with Governor Kathy Hochul, who is in a surprisingly tight race to keep her job. She'll join me here live in just a few minutes. Voters have made it clear across this country. The economy is at the top of their agenda. And today we got the latest gut check on that economy with a final jobs report just before the midterms. NBC's Peter Alexander breaks it all down. President Biden today welcoming a better than expected jobs report. 261,000 new hires last month, even as the Federal Reserve tries to slow the economy and tame inflation. Folks, our economy continues to grow and add jobs, even as gas prices continue to come down. But we got a lot more to do. But fears of a recession still linger. Republicans seizing on the slight uptick in the unemployment rate. The RNC saying it's the worst jobs report this year. Several GOP midterm candidates have the backing of Donald Trump, and sources tell NBC News that Trump himself could officially announce his 2024 bid for the White House later this month. He could announce sometime in the future, but what he is really facing in the present, a number of investigations that are not going away, including one led by the House committee looking into January 6th. Today was the deadline for Trump to respond to that committee's subpoena for documents. Not surprisingly, that didn't happen. Late tonight, the committee extended that deadline, saying this, we have informed Trump's counsel that he must begin producing records no later than next week. And he remains under subpoena for testimony starting November 14th. Axios reporting that the same date Trump could kick off his 2024 campaign is that day. So stay tuned. NBC News has learned the January 6th committee also heard testimony today from the Secret Service agent in the lead car of Trump's motorcade the day of the Capitol riot. Earlier this summer, former Trump White House aide, you remember Cassidy Hutchinson, testified the former president lunged at another member of his detail after agents refused to take him to the Capitol on the 6th. This was also an important day in the seditious conspiracy trial of several key members of the Oath Keepers militia. The founder of that group, Stuart Rhodes, took the stand. He told jurors he believed the 2020 election was unconstitutional and that he feared the Trump White House would be attacked by anti-fascists. Some of those January 6th rioters had Speaker Nancy Pelosi on their list of targets. She spoke out today for the first time since her husband Paul was beaten with a hammer by an intruder who was reportedly asking, where's Nancy? Paul came home yesterday. It's going to be a long haul, but he will be well. And it, it's just so tragic how it happened. But nonetheless, we have to be optimistic. He's surrounded by family, so that's a wonderful thing.